This is produced as part of the ongoing work on the website, the way, the truth, and the life .net. I want to make the finishing of the series of societal uh, and cultural background and uh, summarize what I've discovered that I can organize these two categories in the background for the website much better. Uh, please forgive the stress. Uh, I'm in the Northern Caucasus and I leave today for Moscow. I'll spend the night in the airport and then tomorrow I'll return to New York, Lord willing. The stress has been evident uh, ever since last summer, my wife said she wanted to stay in Russia, and it's been stressful. Maybe that'll ease. But I want to record this and um, upload it if possible before I leave. Because the deep insight that I have uh, seems so simple why all this information was hard to organize on culture and society and background. And it's actually quite simple. The affluent culture has corrupted the word culture. From that meaning to grow human culture, to grow humans, to their narcissistic and uh, self-interest goals and preoccupations and distractions, music and art, their creations rather than their children. The human culture is no, a good human culture in the use of the word today isn't one that raises healthy children. It's one that uh, supports all kinds of self-interest at the expense of uh, child rearing in a healthy home for a child to grow and to provide the, the healthy mammalian bond in a single family home. I say, like here in Russia, the children are being raised in chicken coops. Not only that, most of them are aborted before they, you get born. And those that are born uh, that, uh, that are often pushed onto a, a grandma and or go in the park and see them, young parents sitting there drinking with the baby in the carriage. And uh, we've witnessed many being very harsh with their children for crying. But uh, then here, uh, at three years old, they go into daycare. So you can imagine what's happening to the future. So. Just like in America, we wonder why there's so many uh, shootings in schools and the aberrant behavior and the escalation in autism and other functional disabilities. And yet the, the demonization of anybody who says the truth, uh, the, the say, claim mercury is a cause of autism, it's nonsense and it's been proved, but yet a judge awarded money to the uh, parents of autistic children from a drug fund that was set up for people damaged by drugs, not because there was any scientific validity to it, but because of the pressure of the women's liberation group. It's an unfortunate thing. They're self-destructive. I, I, uh, the, the key here is uh, also not just that the word culture has been taken away from raising healthy children to uh, preoccupation with art and music and theater and uh, some preoccupation with uh, their own uh, sexual excitement or whatever. The other thing is to realize that Human society became corrupted in the Garden of Eden. It is a mythical story, but it goes back millions of years. If you look at the research on tribes in the equatorial areas in, in, in Africa and South America, uh, in the jungles, uh, the 
the murder rate is as high as 60% in the uh, uncivilized tribes. Civilization came through warfare with the horse where they made larger and larger kingdoms and within that kingdom it was relatively safe. Just like Jesus walked around everywhere and no, it was not a big problem and he preached. The problem wasn't the law and order of the uh, Romans, it was the priests that killed him. Uh, uh, this basically is the, the foundation that I've discovered to reorganize uh, the background that was so confused with so much. The culture is the mammalian foundation for healthy human growth and development. Then on top of that, to protect children from memorization that deprives them of learning from their own experience and curiosity and destroys their ability to discriminate between good and evil. And then there's a problem with authority figure servants evaluating those they serve and preventing their evaluation. Students should be evaluating their teachers. I, 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 what a wonderful thing when you've got an insurance company for your car that evaluates their employees based on the feedback you give them whenever you phone. You can find good companies and bad by that. At any rate, teachers uh, need to be evaluated by those they serve, the parents and the students, and they need to be evaluated by their peers and their, and their administrators also. But administrators need to be evaluated by those they serve, the parents and the teachers and the students that they have direct in it's the, the, the such things as phys ed getting uh, high funding per student compared to uh, laboratory science where they should be having hands on experience. It's politic political. There needs to be some way of evaluating this process and protecting the same thing like how goofy uh, medical profession has gotten it's a it's a scheme that uh, a license to steal the medical and legal profession i used to have my children get their teeth fixed I had three children we went around the corner to a dentist that had his wife as a secretary and it was reasonable to get your tooth pulled now it can cost as much as a thousand dollars ever since insurance came in <clears throat> that's for uh, pulling a, a molar that's uh, impacted uh, in Florida but uh, here in Russia I had a tooth pulled uh, it cost ten dollars. Uh, there needs to be socialized medicine. Doctors are on salary and evaluated by those they serve, by their peers, and by their administrators. And their administrators need to be non-doctors. And discovered the something that written in the Bible that it has solved many problems in, in looking at how to uh, help a healthy society. It says, by their fruits you shall know them. Who, who should be leading? The leaders of our culture should not be the teachers from the university indoctrination. It should be the parents. There used to be more wisdom. When you talk about wheat air gut and the, and the destroying the witch hunts that went on in New England because of this infection that got into the wheat during the winter, nobody knows about it today. But Olga's, uh, Olga knew about it. Her grandmother uh, in, in Armenia knew about it. It was passed on from generation to generation. You had to be careful with the wheat in the wintertime because people got goofy from some infection in it but this education from the wisdom of the culture is lost in this uh, children being raised in chicken coops and sent to daycare with uh, teenage girls uh, taken up to five of them in a buggy and then the nonsense that's going on today there needs to be respect for elders we need to take 
successful grandparents and put them in positions of authority evaluating based on their growth themselves in their involvement in society. But it's by their fruits you shall know them. There shouldn't be a judge that hasn't been a successful uh, father or mother. And there's a reason for uh, male authority figures. Over this million years of rape, pillage, and plunder of a tribe, there's, there's part of it is as a good rationale. Inbreeding destroyed tribes. So to raid the next tribe to get a wife uh, is, is uh, reasonable. And for the Arabs that uh, buried their daughters in the sand because they were a temptation to, to attract raids uh, was another. And, but then they would raid to get uh, their own wives. That, that has a part to it, just like the Eskimos inviting anybody to sleep with their wife or daughter because they had a problem with inbreeding. There's natural parts to this, but that there needs to be uh, a recognition that women have a genetic problem over millions of years. They had to uh, adjust to being taken by rape, pillage, and plunder. It was the men who could work together in a group with strength to defeat the enemy that survived. The men that could work honorably with one another. The women that survived were the ones that could go along to get along and manipulate men against men and chiefs and priests against men and get their way without having the physical power. It's not good or bad. It's just what survived to propagate. And if you look at the genetics of animal husbandry, we could help this by choosing good parents. I, by that I mean genetically. Hitler did a bunch of stupid, ignorant, insane things. But all of the, the premise of concern for genetic health is not insane. Hitler didn't have the knowledge and his scientists didn't have the knowledge and all the goofy human suffering they put people through to, under their supposed experiments. It's in, it was insanity. But today it's insane not to have healthy genetics. We can do that. We're murdering healthy babies and letting unhealthy ones be conceived and propagate. This is insane. Let's stop murdering healthy children. Let's prevent disabled, handicapped genetics from being propagated. It's a, it's a no-brainer. At any rate, uh, this helps to put the background in order. Remember how important it is. Abraham understood uh, not to murder his son. He was a rebel. And he went against the polytheists and believed in the most high unseen God, the North Pole, around which all the gods, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, all of them rotated around this unseen God. Then came Moses and the laws that were stronger than uh, the Pharaoh. Everybody was subject to him. And they moved into a land with rape, pillage, and plunder and polytheists that were murdering their children. And they exterminated those people to make a safe place for the rebel culture growing out of Abraham. And then made them do animal sacrifice and up to a priest. And the priests had to go to God for the people. And then came along Jesus Christ who tore the, the veil the, the, to let people go through to have their own relationship with their creator. In God we live and move and have our being. We're all kings and priests to God if we can just be born again into that same culture of working to make it a safe and sane world for the next generation and working to spread intelligence in God's body before this planet is destroyed in its natural processes. It's a miracle that life has evolved. Let's respect it and propagate it. I'll do my best on this foundation to finish this website. I hope that there will be home churches formed where people can each take their turn giving their testimony on a Wednesday night and the men on a Sunday. Take a look at my three-part series on home churches. Thank you.